I've always been a, a fan of Oscar Wilde and um, in my career I've worked a lot in Oscar Wilde plays and I'd, I'd been in a couple of Oscar Wilde films and um, I suppose my relationship with him started really just being able to, it's a knack, speaking wildly in dialogue. It's quite long and complicated and some people just can do it quite easily and some people find it less easy and I found it very easy and I was always quite successful doing it so that was really how I, I mostly got into Wilde. And then um, I did a couple of uh, Oscar Wilde films and I thought, um, God, it would be amazing to do another Oscar film about Oscar Wilde, but attacking um, the end of his life, where all the other films, there's three films already made about Wilde, they all end um, as he goes into prison. And for me, the most exciting part is uh, this, uh, this riches to rags side of him, uh, the terrible fall from being a huge celebrity to being on the streets, uh, to me was very romantic. I often think whenever there's a certain kind of duty sometimes you feel whenever you're playing an existing person, um, particularly with, with Oscar's story and um, the character that I play, uh, Bozy. Um, there's, there's a lot of material, there's a lot of stuff written in their own words, and, and even just reading that, even reading that out loud, that's, that's you know, they're speaking through you, and eventually, essentially, that's what you have to do in the film. You have to, you have to carry a bit of their soul through it. So I, I often find it's a bit of a duty and it's a bit of um, an honour as well. Um, but also getting into their skin, because you particularly, I feel like Bozy, my character, hasn't got a great reputation. He's um, not sort of well liked in history. But uh, me, as a playing that as an actor, I can't think those things. I have to, I have to be who he is, and I don't think he thought he was uh, an awful person. So it's, it's unlocking what all those qualities are, and that's the challenge of portraying that person.